Joining me now live is Democratic Senator Robert Menendez of New Jersey, a member of the bipartisan gang of eight that crafted the immigration reform bill that was filed last week. Sir, it's good to have you here, and I just want to start off your reaction to Senator Grassley's remarks today. Well, Senator Grassley is an ardent opponent of uh, comprehensive immigration reform, and uh, I, I believe that uh, no matter what, if 10 angels came swearing from above that this is the best uh, reform bill for America's security, prosperity, and to preserve our history as a nation of immigrants, he would say no. So uh, I, I don't, if anything, uh, the only reason we knew about these brothers is because they were within the immigration system. They were registered, and that's how we quickly found out everything about them. So we knew need to know who's here to pursue the American dream versus who is here to do it harm. And if there is any shortcomings in terms of those who are given visas from other countries abroad to come to the United States, immigration reform is actually an opportunity to make sure that we deal with those shortcomings. All right, so maybe those 10 angels that you talk about have visited the House because immigration reform won some support yesterday from a key Republican House Budget Committee Chairman Paul Ryan. Take a listen to what he had to say. We have a broken immigration system, and if anything, what we see in Boston is that we have to fix and modernize our immigration system for lots of reasons, national security reasons, economic security reasons. For all those reasons, we need to fix our broken immigration system. So, sir, uh, again, in the wake of the Boston bombings, we have Republican Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky sending this letter, to, letter on to Senate Ma Majority Leader Harry Reid saying, quote, that we should not proceed until we understand the specific failures of our immigration. Why did the current system allow two individuals to immigrate to the United States from the Chechen Republic in Russia, an area known to be a hotbed of Islamic extremism, who then committed acts of terrorism? Does Senator Rand Paul have a point with that? Is this something that needs to be evaluated as an obvious uh, crack in the system and, and something that needs to be looked at and examined very harshly? Well, look, uh, you know, we have vetting already, and we didn't need immigration reform to consider the history of those who might have come to this country to do a damage. Uh, the the uh, bombings uh, of the World Trade Center on September 11th uh, already uh, showed whatever uh, challenges there are in going through a vetting process to determine whether a person abroad should ever get access to the United States, either as a permanent resident or as a visitor. Uh, uh, and so that's been out there for quite some time. I just simply believe that, if anything, I'd rather know among the 11 million or so that are undocumented in this country who is here to pursue the American dream versus who is here to do it harm. And the only way I'll do that is if I make them come forward, register with the government, go through a criminal background check, and determine whether they are worthy of staying here as they earn their way towards citizenship. I won't know that uh, de facto as we have a system now in which there are people here who we have no idea about their backgrounds. And if there is anything necessary to improve abroad with our embassies abroad, the process in which they determine whether an individual should get access to the United States under our immigration law, this is an opportunity to improve that. So I think that many of uh, my colleagues uh, just are against immigration reform when, in fact, immigration reform has been generally known uh, by some of the most ardent supporters of the nation's security, like John McCain, to say that, in fact, this is an opportunity to beef up our security in terms of our immigration system. Sir, when it comes to what you think or what you're hearing uh, that House Speaker John uh, Boehner wants to come to the floor, do you think it's something that's, that's coming more from you or something that could evolve out of the House? In terms of, I'm sorry? In terms of immigration reform, because basically there, are, there are two avenues to look at here, what the House is doing and what you've been able to do in a bipartisan fashion. I see. So yeah. do you think that he's more apt to be open to what's coming out of the House? Well, I actually believe that if we want to uh, ultimately solve our immigration problem and reform a broken system, uh, which has many dimensions to it, the way to do it is to do it comprehensively. Piecemeal fixes don't solve our immigration system. This is about, you know, uh, industry in our country. This is about security of our country. Uh, this is about making sure we don't have an underclass that get exploited and push down wages of all Americans. This is about making people come forward and registered with the government. Uh, this has so many dimensions to it that a piecemeal approach doesn't fix
fix the problem. That's why I think that the unique uh, coming together, we've had a lot of gangs of groups here that have never been able to come together <laughs> with actually producing a piece of legislation. This gang of eight produced a piece of legislation on a bipartisan basis from Chuck Schumer to John McCain, from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce to the head of the AFL-CIO, from a whole host of religious groups, Catholics, Pentecostals, and others, to uh, big agro goers, to farm workers. We have had the widest spectrum uh, of individuals who have come to recognize that our approach is the right approach for America. We do like it when your gangs are productive up there. We're going to let you get back to work, sir. New Jersey Senator Robert Menendez, thank, thank you, you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.